Now well, the shield's done. Uh, except for this part back here. I've got uh, some straps to add. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, starting a new day. With my neighbor cutting firewood. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make uh, straps for the back of the shield. I've got the uh, front of the shield pretty well done. I'm going to lay it on this rag just to keep it from uh, hurting the uh, front of the shield. And uh, get my cutting board cleared off here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because I got to attach this to the hand and I got to make the hand look like it's holding on to the uh, strap couple holes. So, cut away his fingers It's not going to move around. I'm going to redo the fingers. Okay, now I need to make a strap. got to have an armature in the strap so that it can be cast. There. Now I'm doing this for the first time so I really have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just sort of Playing along. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll cover the wire with clay. Now 
doesn't look right. This is going to add to the cost of this piece, though, because it's uh, going to have to be made a mold of separately. But I see no way around it. I seem to be breathing heavily is because this is really stressful because I can make a major mistake doing this. But what I did once I can do again. So I won't let it get me down. See what I gotta do. Before I put too much work into those fingers, I need to put the shoulder strap on this shield. Now on this shield, you can see it's a wide strap, but they don't show how it's attached on the back. So the shield runs that direction. Therefore I'm going to put the strap attached underneath the skin here. Twisting it, having it going down in again to the hand. And uh, Or over the hand. Two under the hand.
as you can see, the strap doesn't show to be too big, so I'm keeping it short, but uh, yet long enough to go over his head and have the strap, the uh, shield hang off his shoulder. Hmm. Just had a thought. Um, I'm going to have to quit. I just had a thought of what I'm going to do. I was thinking of having a bow and quiver, but it would look odd to have a bow and quiver and then be pulling out a war club. And uh, he may have had a bow and quiver on his saddle, and when he emptied the uh, arrows, he uh, had a saddle musket that... Uh, he would take on to, and then when the musket became expended of uh, uh, its shot or bullets, uh, he would uh, probably slip it back into his belt and then pull uh, his uh, war club uh, from wherever it was hanging from. and. Uh, so, <coughs> I've got photographs of a real Native American uh, saddle or horse musket that was cut down for us. Uh, so, I'm going that. to do a little research, get my pictures of that rifle from my reference material. Uh, Michael Badhand. Uh, owns the uh, rifle and I've used it before and in fact I've got a picture of him with it in his belt and uh, I've never forgotten that but I'm not sure I'm going to do a, a musket so I don't know but I think it would look kind of cool You know, well, my only concern, well, it's not really a concern because I can take this knife off. And, uh... <laughs> someplace else. Well, it's a thought that I'm having and I think I'm going to have to take overnight to uh, figure it out. But I got the shield pretty well anchored and uh, just needs a little work. All right, that's going to be it for tonight. Good night, everybody.